Welcome to this open element tutorial which covers user space 01 packs. The purpose of these elements is to create tools to register users and give them privileged access to an area of your site. These tools are packs and pages. There is an authentication page allowing the member to gain secured page access, redirect to the account creation request page, or request a new password. A member administration page, a user account creation page, a user profile editing page, Pack 50 element which protects the pages of your choice, Pack 21 element to add a login on a page, Pack 61 element to display the name of the connected user, Pack 80 element to display content visible only to the logged user on a page. There is also the Pack 70, a user info collection element, but I won't discuss that here. The user information will be recorded in an SQL or MySQL database, depending on your host-supported database and on your personal selection. Of course, any personal data recording and storage must comply with the law. I leave it to you to manage this aspect. Let's start with a copy of the project from the tutorial on creating a responsive site. For structural reasons, I created a folder that I named User Zone and added a page to be secured later for demonstration purposes. I choose to do so, but it is not a requirement. Indeed, all the pages of your site can be protected wherever they are. In order to implement the packs, under the Packs tab, under User Space 01, I run the simplified automatic installation. On this first screen, it is possible to modify the name and the folder of each of the four pages that will be created. I prefer to simplify the page names for demonstration. On the next screen, we must choose a default password for the user account administrator. Next screen, we add an email account to be used as the automated email communication sender. Using an email account from your site's domain will decrease the risk of falling into the recipient's spam folder. Then on the next screen, we start the installation. A new folder containing the four account management pages has been created. On each page, an information panel has been added. You can drag it to make it more readable before erasing it if you want. The administration page tells us how to initialize the database by opening it once published, changing the admin password and adding an email. Do not use the login page as your site's home page. The account creation page displays the different fields that will be configured in the database. This page will be useful if you want users to register themselves. You can also use it to register members yourself. Fields marked with an asterisk are required. Others can be removed or made invisible. Never lose sight of the legal aspect of the personal data collection and storage. This is also a place where you will need to add a link to your privacy policy page. The next page will allow users to change their passwords and edit their profile. None of these four pages are responsive. You will need to edit them accordingly. Now the database. The default is an SQL database. The user's administration account will be the master. The security level goes with it. I need to publish this site. And then open the account administration page to initialize the database created on the host. 
an alert message is telling you to change the account administrator password. It is mandatory. Make sure to add a valid email account and save the info prior to go back to the previous page. Once done, the alarm is gone. From now on, the database is active, the administrator's account is valid, and you can add users. Now let's see how it goes with MySQL. Let's go back just before the site was published. On the host, I created a new MySQL database, which has its own administrator. As you can see, the database does not contain any table. I selected MySQL as the default database. The host is my domain name. The user is the host's database administrator. I now publish the site. Of course, only after deleting the previous site publication on my host. Once the administration page is opened, we can see through PHP MyAdmin that some content has been added to the database. I skip over the content because it's not the point today. It is imperative to set the administrator account password and email prior to go any further. Now let's protect the page provided for this purpose. Right now, if I try to open it, Nothing prevents me. I drag the pack 50 onto the page. I confirm the name of the login page as well as the access level. Prior publishing this page, I make sure that the database administrator password is still there. I publish the page and try to connect to it. Now I must be logged to open it. There are a few other options in these packs that I invite you to explore and use as needed. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and that you won't forget to like this video on YouTube. Feel free to take a look at the other tutorials available on my playlist.